Play a supersonic, you ignorant slut. Because why not? Hey. So basically what you're telling me, Sonic 4 sounds pretty awful. It's well, got this, running bosses. It's got Labyrinth Zone and Metropolis Zone, no thing. The, the stage isn't like Labyrinth Zone, it's just the bosses. The hell's that robot thing? That is bomb. a bomb. Oh. They blow up. No, it's not, it's not a bomb, it's bomb from Knuckles Cadix. <laughs> well, kind of. Looks just like him. Maybe it's his twin brother. Ooh. Well, there's many of them, so... Also, he's a robot. Could be a big family. <laughs> Dude, you just dived onto that Orbanon. Show your mouth! It's like, love me! <laughs> I, don't I just wanted to play! play. <laughs> Does not count as level out. design. <laughs> Having to wait for platforms? Yeah. Starlight Zone looks ugly. Like, the, when you're up in the sky, it's awesome, and you see, like, the city and stuff, but then there's all these curved platforms that just, like, are all jagged on the bottom. Starlight Zone and, uh, Scrap Brain Zone look really bad. Like, look at that curve. It's just, like, jagged bricks on the bottom. That's gross looking. <laughs> like, compare any stage from this game to Sonic 2, and, like, that one just looks so much better. Yeah, it looks like they kind of gave up halfway through building the stage. The stage has such like a tiny amount of memory. It's fucking minuscule. The stage or the game? This game, so Sonic 1. Like yeah. It's like one of the smallest uh, Genesis, Genesis games. Yeah. What, Sonic 1? Yeah. Yeah. It takes up so little memory, like... It takes, like, five kilobytes? They just, like, throw it on everything ever, because it's so small. Yeah, it's, like, one of the most ported games of all time. Ported to the Game Boy Advance? It's... Yeah, well, that's just... that. I'm gonna mention that in my... In my review, I'm gonna... Of the Sonic for the Game Boy Advance. I'm gonna mention that, like... W the, the fact that they had the audacity to sell that game for 20 bucks... When Sonic the Hedgehog has been ported to every game console known to mankind. And then not even do it right. Yeah, with other games, no less, for about the same price. I can get the Sonic's Genesis collection for the PS3 right now for fourteen for fourteen ninety nine, and that game... I don't know why I jumped headfirst into that bomb. And that game has, like... <laughs> 50 games? Yeah. And they they wanted to sell this one, this one game that's been ported 100 million times... For twenty bucks, 20? and all that they added to it was a spin dash and a save feature and crappy music and crappy sprites and crappy gameplay and it's just it's garbage. It's like it's a joke. It's offensive. I'm offended by Sonic the Hedgehog for the Game Boy Advance. Was there a Genesis collection on the DS too? That was also crap. Or am I thinking of the Game Boy one? Game no, Boy Advance. No, there's there's the DS. there's a Genesis one for the Game Boy or for the DS, and it's not total crap, but there it's it could have been emulated better. Mm. I have it's it got... because uh, portable Sonic Two. Yeah, Hell yeah. I I kind of wanted to get it just to play Sonic Three and Knuckles like on the go, but uh, I I also heard it was kind of just, just bare bones. Yeah, know? there's. It, they didn't put much effort into it at all. And they took out, like, some of the menus. Like, you can't do the supersonic cheat in Sonic uh, 2 because they took out the stage select and the sound tests. And Ooh. that's that's dumb. <laughs> Why would they it do that? Dumb. Because that's dumb. <laughs> well, and, this is Sega. And this is Sega, <laughs> so. Yeah, pretty much. Sega's got some pretty crappy Disney prep. Disney? 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 Walt Disney. Walt Disney. I jumped right into those bombs again, thinking I could kill them, and I can't. <laughs> pretty crappy business practices right up there with uh, Capcom. 
Like, again, the fact that they think that they could sell this game that's been ported a million times up until that point and a million more since then mm -hmm. for 20 bucks. A lot of different know, dude, it's, it's inside generations for free. Like, mm -hmm. that's just that's just one example, you know. If you want to play Bisney, Sonic the Hedgehog, Disney's Epic Ricky. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> it's gonna be a thing, man. <laughs> what were you gonna say Warren, if you want to play? We got Warren Flector on the development team. Warren Flector, I'm gonna jump into these bombs every fucking time. Don't. I did. I, I did it again. But what did you? What, what were you gonna say about me? Yeah. About, about Warren Flector. About what? I don't remember. You're gonna say something about Sonic the Hedgehog. Well, I'm just saying, like, you could get it inside of Generations for free. Like, why? That's just one example. It's if you're looking for to play Sonic the Hedgehog, you're you're not hurting. You know, you have a lot of options. Yeah. Play it on every console ever. You mentioned earlier. Yeah, yes. You mentioned earlier that there was even a combination on the Genesis where you could get Sonic One and Sonic Two on the same cartridge. Yeah. It was even ported on its own fucking system. That's funny. But at the same time, horrible because that's what they do. Yeah, it's a joke. It's Sonic the Hedgehog for the Game Boy Advance is a joke. Huh? And what makes it all the all the much all the 